As I thought more about scientific questions about where do we come from, why is the universe here, what does it all mean, I slowly started to realize these were also religious questions. These were the same questions that were at the heart of many religions, almost all religions. Why, why am I here? What does it mean? What happens to me when I die? What's it all for? And we were doing um, through the wormhole yes. and s s visiting some of these questions, you know, about creation and um, what happens after life, is there life after death, blah, 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 and just sort of a natural segue into back to that question of, okay, so then who is God? Is there any particular spiritual uh, angle that you tend towards? You mentioned meditation, are you Buddhist? Well, I do or? transcendental meditation, um, but I know I, I grew up in a church my whole life, and so my grandma, she kind of taught me that believing in something bigger than yourself is so important, and especially because you need to humble yourself, that although I'm in the profession of Hollywood, it's not who I am, it's what I do. Episode one, they asked the question, what is God? First thing that comes to your mind. What is God? Love. The universe. We don't know yet, right? First thing that comes to your mind, Ruben, what is God? Love. Hi. God is love. It's the unknowable. Or we can say God is like the cutest puppy, kitten, panda bear, rolled all into one. God is the cu cutest puppy, panda bear, kitten rolled into one. That's on my Christmas list, actually. How do you know? What piece of work do you think you'll be remembered for? The piece of work while I be the Shawshank Redemption. What do you think? <laughs>